Okay, now this uh, part two, what we're going to do is play around with the filters that are in Photoshop and choose one that we like. So this is, you know, really up to you what you want to do with this. And take a look at um, the mask tool and um, maybe even downloading some brushes. So <clears throat> let's start with um, color. So whatever I have in my foregrounds and my background colors, they're going to affect my filters. So I think I'm going to go with, um, I'm just going to pick something, color, maybe I'll do like this orangey color here. And uh, it looks like I have like a white here. Let's just see what that looks like. Um, maybe what I'm going to do is get the seed color. And uh, so basically what I did is uh, clicked on the foreground. My cursor turns into an eyedropper. And then I can just like literally pick any of the colors um, as I like kind of go around the screen. And um, <clears throat> I'm not, there's no one reason why I'm picking one color over another. I just happen to like this orangey color. So I'm going to pick it, click OK, and, um, you know, I can always change it. And then I'm going to go to my filter, and I'm going to go to filter gallery. And um, coming down here, it lets me see the picture more. Okay, and this is what the entire picture would look like if I should choose to use halftone. Now, you guys, we've been working with uh, these filters you know for a little while so you know that I can come over here to the properties I can change up the properties if I care to see what it looks like um, but I think I'm going to choose graphic pen for this um, project I just like the way this looks again you can kind of mess around with how it shows through How much of it you want how much of it you want okay so keep in mind that we're not going to keep the entire picture like this this is just going to kind of give it some texture so once i have um the stylization that i want i'm going to click okay okay so at this point now i know that i have um, my filter on this top layer if I hide the layer, I can still see through to this bottom layer zero. Um, notice that my filter picked up my foreground color as well as my background color to draw in the filter. <clears throat> now I can come up to a blend and just kind of see what like a blend would look like um, at this point. And you guys remember that you can kind of like click one and then roll, scroll your screen, uh, scroll, pardon me, scroll your mouse um, ball around to uh, see all of them instead of having to do what I'm doing here. And that's uh, kind of clicking through each one. So this is like some ideas that I could do with a blend. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to keep mine at normal for now. And... Um, I may go back to it. I just wanted to kind of point out that this is the blend tool and remember that the blend mode will affect this layer and then whatever's underneath this layer. So that's how this blend mode always works. Um, I can also drop down my opacity of this layer and kind of see through what, uh, see what it would look like if this filter layer wasn't completely 100% um, opaque. And so we can kind of get a little bit of it or a, a medium sized amount. <clears throat> so there are a couple of options. Um, but one of the things that I want to do here is um, I want to kind of um, erase some of the filter and leave some of the filter on. Now, if I use the eraser tool, that would work. But the problem with the eraser tool, and, and this is the tool that I'm speaking about, the eraser tool, is that... Um, it's not easy to like uh, remove it. So like if, if I was like, oh, let me try to see what this is like, and if I don't like it, the best way that I go about doing this would be using the mask. 
Now we've used masks on adjust, adjustment layers. This is actually adding a mask on a layer itself. And it's this guy right here. It's called the layer mask. So we're going to add it. So now anytime I paint with a brush on this white box, if I paint it with black, I'm going to be removing this filter. If I paint it with white, I'll be bringing the filter back. So um, I'm going to come down here make sure that I have a black um, foreground color. And remember this little arrow right here lets you switch the colors back and forth. X on your keyboard lets you switch back and forth. And I'm going to go to my brush. So I'm going to press B on my keyboard and find my brush tool right here. And I'm going to come up to the option bar and I want to find a brush. So I have a bunch of brushes downloaded. Um, I'm looking for like a maybe something like that. Something that's kind of yeah. This is uh, it looks like this is the water drop brush. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna pick a brush. And um, notice that the size of my brush is pretty small. I'm gonna come over to the curly bracket and just uh, increase the size here. And um, now, if I start to brush off, what's going to happen is uh, literally um, I'm removing parts of this layer. And you can see that it's being removed because every area that's black is me hiding what's on this layer here. Every part on this layer that's white is what's shining through the mask. So if I switch my color back to white, you can kind of see here that I'm clicking back on my mask. So this gives me a nice um, way of using a, the brush tool to kind of bring in some texture on my original picture. So I can um, Again, go back to my brush. I can pick different kinds uh, of brushes. Um, these, again, were loaded up from a prior project. Um, one of the things I can do is um, hit this gear and come down here, and you can see that there's a bunch of different brushes listed. So maybe I want to see assorted brushes or special effect brushes. Um, or dry media brushes, whatever I want to kind of get a feel for. And this is the time that you can experiment. Go into that brush, select it. Now, if you press OK, it removes all the brushes that, that, are, that are shown in this box over here. If you press, press Append, it will add the brushes to what exists in this box over here. So I'm going to press Append, and let's see what we get. Okay, so here are the new brushes, and um, this is a little rose looking thing. I'm going to make this bigger. Um, if I paint with this, it's going to add back because I have white. Um, I'm going to change my color, X on my keyboard, to make it black. This is kind of, this is again removing it I'm using part of the brush. So Again, you can do what you like, how you like it, um, but that's pretty much what you would do. You also um, can download brushes, um, which I think I'm going to leave that for another project. Um, and you can also load brushes that are already out that we have downloaded. So if you click on this gear, you're going to see load brushes. And um, there's a file out in the T drive. Um, that has all of our brushes in it. It's, uh, I, th it's, I don't think it's in the 2017 folder. I think it's just right in the uh, T drive, and it's called Brushes. And you'll see a, a whole bunch, probably um, 25 to 50 brushes that you can pick. And you just click on it, you load it, and then it will let you um, either click OK or Append, and it will become part of your brushes over here. 
So um, that is the section for adding filters, masks, blends, opacity, and um, brushes.